Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create the Tinder swipe deck animation. So here in front of us, we have the app open. As you can see, when you swipe to the left, you'll get that text on the top indicating that you dislike the image. If you don't swipe enough and let go, the image falls back into place. If you swipe to the right, you get the like text at the top. And again, if you let go, it falls back to its place. If you swipe enough, it'll animate out. And as you can see, the image behind nicely zooms in and the opacity of the image also changes. So this is what we're going to be working on. This should be really fun to build and I hope you guys like this. So let's begin. There's just one thing to keep in mind over here that the animations on the simulator might look a little buggy. However, if you test them out on your actual device, they will work perfectly smoothly. This has been tested both on iOS and Android. So to begin with, in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I've created with Expo. On top here, the first thing I'll do is I'll import some images. These images I already have in my assets folder. You can use any five images. All I've done is create an array of objects and each image has an ID and a URI. So let's first set up the UI of how the image is going to look. So in the render method, let's get rid of this view over here. Create another view of style equal to flex of one. Inside this view, we'll create a header, a content view and a footer. So the first one is going to be the header. We'll just give it a style of a height of 60. Then we'll have a view in the middle with a style of flex of one. And below this, we'll have another view with a height of 60. So this is the header, this is the footer, and this is the content view. So here in our content view is where we'll render our images. Let's see how the image is gonna look. For that, let's first import in dimensions here from React Native. And let's get the height and width to the screen. So we'll say constant screen height is equal to dimensions dot get window dot height. Similarly, we can get the screen width. And we'll also import an image and animate it from React Native. Animated is the library that we're going to be using to animate our view. So inside the content view, let's create another view, which is going to be an animated view. So animated dot view, let's style that view, give it a height equal to the screen height minus 120, which is the sum of the height of the header and footer so that it comes between them and a width equal to the screen width. Inside this view, we'll put in an image. Let's get the first image from our users. So we'll say users zero and get the URI. As we can see, the image is not fitting in. So let's put in some styles. So we'll give it a flex of one, a height of null and a width of null. And we'll also put in resize mode equal to cover. The image tries to fit in nicely. Let's put in a padding of 10 here on the parent so that it spaces out nicely from the edges. And also let's give the image a border radius of 20. So that's looking exactly how we want it to look. Now that we have our image ready, we can move this into a map method so that we can display all our images. So here let's create a new method called render users. I know we don't have any users and only have food images, but let's just still call it render users. So here we'll return users.map. The first one will be item, the second one will be the index. And inside this, we'll put in another return here. Let's copy this animated view from here. Let's paste it in here. And instead of hard coding the image, let's say item.uri. And let's call render users here. So now instead of stacking up, our images are displaying one below the other. So let's position the view absolutely so that the images get stacked. So let's say position absolute. And now we can see our images are stacked above each other. Let's get rid of this error here. To prevent that error from coming up, we just need to give each item a key. So just say key is equal to item.id because our ID is unique and save that out. Also right now, our last image, which is our fifth image, is showing up here in the top. Instead, we want the first image to be at the top. For that, all we need to do is, on our map method, just type reverse. 
So if we save and refresh that, we see that we're getting our first image on the top. Now it's time to start animating the image. So come here at the top, let's import in pan responder from React Native. Above render users, let's create component will mount. Inside this, let's say this dot pan responder is equal to pan responder dot create. And we need a couple of methods here. The first one would be on start should set pan responder. Two parameters, which is the event and the gesture state. Set that to true. Then the next one is on pan responder move. That is when the user pans across the screen. The same two methods as the parameters. We'll leave that empty for now. And the last one will be on pan responder release with the same two parameters. So on start should set pan responder will be true by default so that the pan responder becomes active when the user clicks. Inside on pan responder move, we will set the gesture that the user does onto a particular value which we'll just create. And on pan responder release will decide whether to toss the image or to bring it back to its original position. So let's create a constructor here. And as always, let's call super. Let's create a new value called this.position, which is going to be a new animated value. So animated.value xy. And we'll also set a state. So let's say this.state is equal to, we'll set a current index, which will be the index of the card that's showing in front of us, starting with zero. In our pan responder move method, we'll say this.position.set value. Set the x value to gesture state dot the dx position and the y value to gesture state dot dy. This simply sets the x and y panned values to this position object. Let's leave the on pan responder release empty for now and let's attach the pan responder to our animated view. So in our animated view over here, we'll use the spread operator to pass it in. So this dot pan responder dot pan handlers and also in our styles, we'll pass in our position. So we need to turn this into an array. And what we'll do here is we'll pass in the transform property and say this.position.getTranslateTransform so that the x and y values are translated onto the x and y axis. Let's save that and refresh it. And as we can see, now we can drag our image around.